Live. Hey, you good? Huh? You good? Oh, yeah. Food coma. Is this wider than before? Yeah, we're on the mini LF now, so we're quite a bit wider. Are they supposed to be this wide? Yeah, they were made for 35mm photography cameras, so they actually cover full frame when it comes to video. Or large format, as Ari calls them, hence the LF. Is video usually smaller than stills? For the longest time, yeah. Super 35 has been the motion picture standard and it's quite a bit smaller than the photography standard. And people are all shooting LF now? I wouldn't say all, but large format has gotten very popular for sure. It's a new look that's really catching on now. Wow. You guys get excited over the weirdest stuff, I swear. It's like planets aligning. It's like planetary alignment. So T1.5 is pretty fast, isn't it? Certainly is. How come the 20 mil was only 2.9? I don't know. It's hard to make a decently wide lens that is also fast, it seems. So do you shoot at T1.5 a lot? Personally, no. But I pull focus for a guy that shoots wide open all the time. How come? Because <sighs> he's a sociopath. No, I don't know. For character, I guess. A lot of lenses show very different looks when they're wide open. What, like the slightly soft edges and all that? Yeah, all that stuff, pretty much. I mean, some lenses are just absolute filth wide open, though. What, you mean like they're not sharp at all? Yeah, not sharp. They've got horrible chromatic aberration, weird blooms, no contrast. A lot of the vintage lenses aren't perfect by any stretch of the imagination when they're wide open, but some people just really like their imperfections. And does this look filthy? Um, you know, you really shouldn't talk about yourself that way. It's not healthy. <laughs> Positively locked. Well, wow, it's been a day. I'm impressed you still remember how to put on a lens. Well, what can I say? I'm just that talented. I could get hired as an AC, right? You no, know, if I'm not doing the whole focus pulling, it's pretty simple stuff. Well, it's gotten a lot easier since they switched to digital, that's for sure, but um, you used to have to load film, and if you screwed it up, you would lose the entire roll. Ooh, right, no film. So what else do I need to do? Well, change batteries, change cards, camera prep. Uh, you just need to be an organized person and know where everything is at all times. I can be organized. You don't think I'm organized? Uh, I've seen your room. Oh, you know that slate thing? I've done that before. Yeah, yeah, on a student shoot. What's your point? Well, no one does it properly on a student shoot. Like, if you're doing it for real, you're supposed to know where to slate, depending on the lens and all that. So on a, on a 28 mil, like this lens, it'd roughly be three feet away from the, from the camera. Right. Well, actually, we're on LF now, so probably a bit closer than that. Oh, wait, I'd have to carry, like, the heavy lens cases in the camera, wouldn't I? From time to time, yeah. Yeah, no. The path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the inequities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. Evil. Tyranny of... Why are you reading Pulp Fiction? Hmm? I'm just prepping for a short film. The director wanted me to recite this speech. Was that the speech that's in the actual film? Is it a spoof of Pulp Fiction or something? I don't know, I'm just doing what I'm told. It was like a first year film like student. A... Blessed is he who in the name of charity and goodwill shepherds the weak through the valley of darkness, for he is truly his brother's keeper and the finder of lost children. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon thee. Now, I've been saying that shit for years, and if you ever heard it, that meant your ass. You'd be dead right now. See, now I'm thinking, maybe I don't want to be wasting my time doing this lens test. Maybe this is all pretty stupid. But I'm trying, Darby. I'm trying real hard to sit through this shit. Yeah, look, maybe I shouldn't do that film. Look, it probably wouldn't be any good, but it might be a lot of fun. Fun in what sense? As in a complete shit show. 
Have you been on many shit shows? I don't actually get on many shit shows anymore. I usually see the red flags a mile away and I avoid them completely, but I mean, every once in a while I miss the crazy stories. Mm. I was like called at 6 a.m. once, I think, and we didn't start filming till about 4 p.m. So I sat around all day doing nothing and eating all the snacks. Yeah. Yeah, I was actually on a bit of a shit show last week. Oh yeah? What happened? I'm not allowed to talk about it. I was on a shoot where they lost all the sound files, so they just scrapped the whole thing entirely. My god, just cut your losses and just, nah, sorry everyone. Mm. Um, I had one last year where it was like the, uh, the safety officer, we had a scene that was like a funeral scene, but it was like in front of like a naked flame and we needed the flame to be bigger, so the safety officer was there just like yucking petrol on, on, the, on the fire and he nearly set the soundy on fire. I don't think I've been on any short films with this camera. You mean the Mini LF or just the Alexa in general? I don't know, maybe a smaller Alexa? The OG Mini? You can't get smaller than that. Would you only shoot on high-end gear? I mean, if I can, yeah. I like to say that, you know, anything lower than higher is lower than higher. And good gear makes a difference? Yeah, I think good gear makes all the difference. How Well, how much of a difference kind of depends on you as a DP. Lighting is like a massive part of that as well, you know? It's all about the lighting. I thought story is king. Well, I mean, yeah, in terms of narrative, sure. But in cinematography, I would say that lighting is king. You ever see like really bad stuff shot on really good gear? I have actually. I know of a few people with high-end gear, but they just straight up don't know how to use it, or that I guess they just don't have an eye for it. Well, a lot of people aren't really limited by gear. Well, I mean, on a, sometimes on a lens, when you're when you're trying to focus like out to infinity or or whatever, you'll you know you get to a point where the teeth just stop moving. So sometimes you are limited by the gear. Liv, where'd you go? Well, it is 11 p.m. I've got work in the morning. It's the last lens. Come on, let's get through this. Oh, good. Well, it only took two whole days. Yeah, so what are we, 100, 100 mil again, are we? Yep, yep. Last in the set. Mm, yep, well, I'm legit falling asleep here, so can we... <sighs> Take your time falling asleep, because I've still got to test some stuff here. Can you go through your Pulp Fiction speech again? No, I forgot it. So, uh, what's happening with these lenses and all this set up. Well, I gotta pack it all down and return it to offshoot tomorrow. Right. You don't need my help packing down, do you? Oh yeah, thanks for asking. I will definitely need your help packing down. You are a cruel, cruel man. Oh, I can't even leave early, can I? Because we came together. That is correct. You know, I'm um, we still got to test these on the Red Raptor, right? What? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. We don't care about red. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs>